For almost 40 years, Claiborne Hayes has been stateless. Born in 1948 in the U.S., Claiborne felt a close connection to Israel from his early years. He decided to immigrate in 1975 and join the African Hebrew Israelites, a small spiritual community who believes they are descendants of the lost tribes of Israel. But the rigorous lifestyle that includes veganism and the hot weather of the southern city of Dimona did not suit him, and Claiborne decided to leave the community a few months after his arrival. Unfortunately, it was just the beginning of his problems. I went to the uh, Minister of Interior, fill out an application for citizenship. The uh, secretary the, there, he was very rude. He took the paper and threw it in my, in my face and, you know, and told me to get out. I said, okay. Another year, then uh, a year later, I tried again. I kept trying, kept trying, same thing. No, 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 no. As a common practice for African Hebrew Israelites, Claiborne decided to renounce his American citizenship when he came to Israel, believing it was the only yeah. path to becoming an Israeli citizen. Yeah. But instead, Claiborne faced an endless road of bureaucracy. Claiborne continued to turn to the Israeli authorities, but always faced closed doors. In a last step of despair, he went to receive legal assistance from the Yehuda Rave and Co. law firm in Jerusalem. But according to his lawyer, Michael Decker, there is little they can do to help him. The cases that dealt with stateless people are usually regarding countries that the person left that country and then the country fell apart. The difference, I guess, with Clyburn Hayes is that his country did not fall apart. Uh, the United States uh, exists. But uh, according to United States policy, it's almost impossible to receive your citizenship back after you renounced it. After a long campaign in 2003, most members of the African Hebrew Israelites received Israeli citizenship, but Claiborne Hayes was left behind. Being a stateless person and with a serious disability in his hands, Claiborne depends on the kindness of strangers. After so many years of fighting, Claiborne Hayes is not getting any younger. He's had to give up many dreams on his difficult journey. But one remains, to wake up one morning with a blue Israeli ID. Wait. I hope every day when I get up in the morning, there's a hope. My hope is still there. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, so I'm going to keep on trying, you know.